New exclusive evidence has been revealed in the YNW Melly case, which proved his innocence and set him free with no charges. You will not want to miss what we have to show you in today's video. Also, if you are a fan of YNW Melly, leave a like on this video. And if you do want to join this month's giveaway of a new pair of AirPods, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end. Find and comment the hidden message and you will be entered. Now, there has been a lot of talk about YNW Melly after he released his hit song, Murder On My Mind. He was not known, but then he came in the rap game and made a huge name for himself, and he started his rise into the rap industry. He was one of the most talked about names in 2019 after he secured so many fans through his music. He seemed to have many loyal fans and his popularity continues to grow. But his music has been put on hold for a while now due to him being locked up and awaiting his verdict for a double murder charge. There has been a lot of conflict and speculation in this case on whether he is innocent or guilty, but with some new evidence coming to the light, his innocence seems to be proven, which you will want to hear why, so stay tuned. But for those who are new to this case, YNW Melly has been sitting in jail facing a double murder charge after he was accused of killing his two friends YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. With these charges, he was not only facing life in prison, but also the death penalty. It is legal in Florida for the death penalty, and they are going after it for YNW Melly. Melly does claim that he is innocent, and he has a lot of fans believing that he is. But the police have a different opinion, believing that he was the one who shot his two childhood friends, and that he tried to set up the crime scene to make it appear as a drive-by shooting. There was a lot of confusing evidence in this case, which has people really stuck on if he's actually innocent or guilty. It was opinion based because there's kind of signs leading to both. But like I said, new evidence has finally been revealed after prosecutors released images of the crime scene. These images show the bullet holes as well as the police techniques used to determine the bullet trajectory. The police theory is that YNW Melly shot them both inside the car and he got out of the car and shot it up to make it look like a drive-by shooting and he basically staged it to try and get away with it. What's interesting is one of the headshot theories mapped out by the police has the bullet coming from behind the car and through both seats. YNW Melly was sitting on the left side of the car in the back seat which means if he actually was the one who made that headshot, he would have had to reach his arm around the back seat and shoot through two seats and get the perfect shot. That does not seem very likely at all. And there have been rumors that YNW Melly is being set up by the police and framed for these charges. And what's interesting about that is police have submitted multiple reports and experts in this case, but they have not submitted an expert for bullet trajectory, which means they did not even have an expert to prove these bullet mapping theories. And also another thing to note is these techniques and theories of tracing bullets were never scientifically proven to be accurate or have any truth to them. So it's not really fair to use an unproven method to try and prove something in court. It just does not seem fair at all. And since it does not seem likely and it doesn't really have any proven truth to it, it's not gonna hold up in court and it may not affect Melly at all. It could actually help him in a sense because it kind of proved that he might not have been the shooter. The main reason people believe Melly is actually innocent is that there was zero motive to do this. These were his childhood friends and he seemed very close with them. He was even in a documentary with them, speaking very highly of them. He's known them for a long time. And killing your friends is already a stretch in itself, but doing it for no proven reason just does not make sense at all. And there has been no proven motive in court. That can be very helpful in Melly's case. No one just assumes that you're going to do this for no reason, especially when you already have money, you're already living a good successful life. Why would you put yourself at risk to kill your two friends for no proven reason? It does not make sense and there is no motive proven in court yet. There is still more evidence and facts about this case that have not been revealed, but with what we know, it doesn't seem like they really have enough to actually prove that YNW Melly is guilty. It doesn't seem like they have enough to sentence him to life. It definitely does not seem like they have enough to give him the death penalty, which is a good thing for a lot of YNW Melly fans. We definitely don't want to see that happen, especially if he is innocent. So if you are a YNW Melly fan, hope that this is not going to happen. Like I said, there is a lot to still unfold in this case, and he still is awaiting his verdict. But he could be found innocent and being released with zero charges after this evidence somewhat proves that he seems to be telling the truth. There is a little 
mix up in the stories that he did have which could affect him but overall i don't think they have enough to prove that he actually did this murder with that being said i am going to end the video here i want to know what you think about this in the comments i'm curious to see who actually believes he's innocent not just because you're a fan if you actually think that he's innocent or guilty let me know in the comments also, if you are a YNW Melly fan, leave a like on this video. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Mixed Dice Media. I will see you in the next one.